Hello everyone this is Dharmesh Maurya and welcome back to my channel Java Hub. Today in this video we are going to see how to handle exception handling in Spring Boot REST API. So before I start this video let me show you that these are the annotations that we are going to see in this example. You can read it by pausing the video. So now as you can see I have already created the project in my HTS Eclipse IDE. So I will expand it and show the product structure and some of the code like controller and request and response body. So in control you can see there are request and response body form. So this is the request body and this is response body form. In request body we can see there are three fields declared and in response body there are two fields declared. So now I will run this project. So in console, you can see that project is running on port 8080. So now I will open Postman and hit the URL with our request body as we have already seen in the controller the our method is post select json and we have to enter our request body here these are the fields we have already seen our request body form So first of all we will see for the empty input value. So let me hit the send button. So as you can see in the response we are not getting any Java runtime exceptions because we have handled the code in such a way that whenever the exception will occur it will display the field name error code and error message. Okay so now we will see for the particular fields if age is given and name and dependent field is not given and if name and age is given and dependent fee is not given and if every field is given then success response will come okay so now we will see for the null pointer exception what hap what will happen if null is given in the input let me clear the console and show you the exception as well as in the console and in, as well as in the response as you can see in the console exception is printing for null pointer exception but in the response we have handled it by giving the field field name error code and error message and now we will see for the age what have what will happen if age is given less than 18 then it will show the exception like each cannot be less than 18 now see for the invalid input in input i will purposely give invalid values so that we can check whether our program is handling these invalid values or not in the console we can see exceptions are printing but in the response we have handled this by using the field name error messages and error code So till now we have seen this exception except this last one. So what I will do now in code I will purposely create syntax error or compilation error and check what will what we will get in the response. So here you can see we are still getting the response even though we have created the syntactical error in our code but it is it has been 
handled by our controller advice exception handler class so till now we have covered for all the exceptions so now we will see for the success response for one more time and later we will move towards the code so this is our success response so i think i have handled almost all the exceptions in this example so now it's it's time to see the source code so let's begin with the controller monkey Okay guys, for source code, you can commit your email ID or you can see the URL given in the description section. So if you like the video, then please share, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.